Welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2020 Nissan Navara It's a 2.3 DCI 194 TT Engar double cab It's an automatic vehicle, it's done 84,000 miles and it's got full Nissan service history Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person as I go around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres. We'll have a look in the back and then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats and the functionality inside. I'll even tell you what it smells like. Once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay. And then finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and of course the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you think that's for you and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance the vehicle, we will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT because it is a plus VAT item. In some rare circumstances, you can look to borrow the VAT, but that will depend on you and your personal circumstances. Uh, one more thing, if you think, uh, if you've watched the video and you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask what it's all about. Nothing to hide, we'll show you absolutely everything that you need to see. Right, let's start with this fabulous vehicle and uh, we'll start with the bonnet and work our way around from there. Right, so, zoom that out a little bit. And hopefully you can see that from the image, it is in actually fantastic condition. Um, you won't see very easily uh, from the video, but it's an absolutely beautiful pearl white and uh, the colour really pops. Um, easily my favourite colour in this Navara, easily. Um, you'll notice it's got a bonnet bib. In fact, this whole vehicle has been protected um, to another level. Um, and as we go round it, you'll see it. whoever's owned it has really fastidiously taken care of it um, to the point of where they put protection film on the front of the grille, they put PPF protection on the front bumper, and that's all round. Even in the insides as well, protecting things so it didn't obviously get dirty, didn't get hurt, didn't get damaged, and it just shows what an amazing condition it is. Right, so um, driver side headlight, front bumper, and working our way along. Um, like I say, these have been wrapped with a protective material. Um, them obviously so you can see that they look in great condition but also beyond that if you pull the film off they're even better condition underneath so yeah passenger side headlight and also front bumper all in great condition on to the passenger side front wing and again it's in lovely condition there's no obvious marks or dints so passenger side front wheel and tire as you can see the wheels in fantastic condition just bring that up a little bit it is a what kind of time is it um not sure can't read it a royal performance anyway tire looks in great condition um i would suggest that there's probably about seven mil tread front windscreen as you can hopefully see, there's no stone chips or cracks. Everything is very clean. Right. Passenger side front mirror. Again, nice and clean condition. There's no damage. And that's the same for the mirror. Over the pillars. And as you can see, very clean and nice condition. As it's the end guard, it's got the sunroof. And as you can see, the roof's in fantastic condition as well. We will look on the other side as well when we get there. Right, so let's go down the passenger side. It's worth noting, I always like to do this. Have a quick look from the side. And you can see that the gaps all look right on the doors. And there's no signs of any historic paint. I think with the paint on this, it will just stick out like a sore thumb. Um, and it's in fantastic condition. Worth seeing on these. Again, um just go into that little extra degree whoever's owned it has put an extra flap on it just to ensure there's no stone chips um it just goes to show how well it's been looked after um the panels 
hopefully as you can see are in fantastic condition um, when this arrived i thought it had done about 8,000 miles i was surprised to see it on 84 um it's in that clean condition on to the rear quarter and again it's in fantastic condition nice easy video for me to do so passenger side rear wheel and tire wheels in great condition it's a continental tire and there's about six or seven mil tread around the rear window everything's nice and clean again there's no damage passenger side tail light and again it's in fantastic condition there's no damage no misting no cracks nothing tailgate and as you can see again it's in lovely condition at the end of the day, this is the business end of things. This is, if anywhere is going to be damaged or anything, it would usually be around here. And as you can see, again, it's in fantastic condition. Um, Tom's obviously got the 360 degree reversing camera, which I'll show you working when we get inside. Rear bumper, again, in fantastic condition. You'll notice that it's obviously got the parking sensors. It's got the tow bar with the early low electrics. Obviously these will tow three and a half tons as well. It's obviously got the tonneau cover. I'll not take it off, but Obviously you can see it's just unclips. It's not there to uh, offer any protection. It's just literally just, just, you know, to keep the water off it. In the back, it's lovely and clean. And you can see from the, um, the actual plastic guard, it's not been used for anything really heavy. Um, put anything in there like a pallet or anything like that, it just rips them apart. And it's in fantastic condition. Really nice and clean throughout. Um, tire cover is obviously nice and clean as well. There's no damage. Right, let's go down the driver's side. Tail light, again, nice clean condition. There's no damage, no cracks, no misting. Rear quarter. And again, fantastic condition. And there's no signs of any historic damage or anything like that. Everything looks really superb. Driver side rear wheel and tie, it's a matching continental tie to the opposite side, wheels in great condition, and it's the same tread depth. Everything really nice and clean. Right, so let's have again, let's have a quick look at the, the gaps from the side. Everything again looks spot on, there's no signs of any um, damage or anything like that. Everything looks really nice and clean. Fingers crossed when we get that, they have. Uh, rear window, again, you can see everything's in nice clean condition. So let's go down the pillars first. And there's a very small, I'm not sure if it's a scratch or if it's just a, there's a little tiny mark there. Will that show up? I don't think it will. Just there, it's nothing serious, but it is there. That's the only thing I've seen on it. Um, mirror back, nice clean condition. There's no damage. And there's the mirror. Right, so let's go down the driver's side and again it's in fantastic condition there's no obvious marks or dents everything looks really nice and clean that's including the side step as well bob on right driver's side front wing and again it's in fantastic condition really nice and clean no obvious marks or dents or damage uh, driver's side front wheel and tyre it's Obviously matching ties to the opposite side. Pro performance, royal performance is it? Royal performance. Uh, wheels in great condition. And it's matching tread depth. Right, let's have a quick look on the roof. And again, it's in fantastic condition. No real shocks at all. Right, so. On to the interior. It's worth mentioning, if you didn't know, these are keyless entry, keyless go. So as long as you've got your key in your pocket, you can press that button. It'll tell me off if I do it. So you listen, keys inside it. So you can press that button to lock it and also unlock it. As long as your key's on your person, then it will do it. Right, driver's door card. Again, in fantastic condition. And again, just shows you in highlights to the lengths that the person that's owned it before took to ensure that it's protected. 
they've put a sticker on there. Again, it is one of those weak points when you sit in it for a period of time and your knee rubs on there, they do have paint rub off there. So he's put a protective film on it. Looks quite good. Um, on your armrest, you've got your electric windows times four, uh, window lock, door lock, electric folding mirrors, and then also your electric uh, mirror control from there as well. Um, I suppose I've got to tell you, I can't emphasise how clean it is inside. Um, the seats look like new, and that's one of the things when I first looked at it and looked inside, I didn't look at the mileage, didn't see it. I just thought it had done about 8,000. It's in great condition. It just shows how much it's been cared for. So, driver's seat, fully electric. Bolsters feel like new. All the materials, superb. Really very clean. So, driver's seat is fully electric. It will go forwards, it will go backwards. It moves up and down. You can bring the nose up, the back up. And of course, the back rests will go backwards and forwards as well. And also, uh, on top of that, if you watch this part here, you can actually pump that up. So if you suffer from a bad back, sciatica or something like that, obviously you can get the maximum level of support for you. Right, let me jump in. Oh, it's always worth mentioning, it's got the proper Navara N, uh, N guard, overmats. Everything looks superb as there as well. No real shocks. So, inside... Uh, another one of those little touches, what the previous owner's done, is actually put a protective film over the um, the gearbox, gear selector thing. They do get scratched, so it obviously goes to show you, um, obviously a, a very careful previous keeper of a Navara knew that that's something that you needed to do. You can obviously just peel that off if you're not bothered about it, but nice to see it. It just shows how it's been cared for. Dashboard is no shocks superb everything is very very clean steering wheel let me just move that up a little bit steering wheels in great condition um there's no signs of any um you know where the die comes off the wheel there's no signs of the stitching coming away that's a little bit there that's fluff um there's no no nasty marks everything looks really nice and clean um passenger seat again bolsters feel like new materials so clean everything looks spot on tell you what let's start it up foot on your brake press the start button fires into action straight away um, as you can hopefully see there's no warning lights other than handbrakes on and i'm not wearing my seatbelt oh and of course low fuel uh, but other than that yeah nothing else so a quick look at the see if we can see what miles per gallon it was doing no warnings settings oh, it's, they've obviously cleared it off Yeah, there's no average miles per gallon on there at the moment. But anyway, never mind. Uh, right, so steering wheel controls, right hand side, cruise control, nice and easy now. Uh, below that is voice command, and also you can um, answer your phone and hang up from there as well. And then the left hand side is basically your media centre. So as I've been moving that, you can see that moves that, like your radio stations, your driving aids, forward, laser, go, blah, blah. And then obviously your media centre control, so things like your volume and everything works perfectly um, sunroof one touch open and close and as you'd expect it works perfectly uh, roof lining is again it's lovely and clean there's no there's no marks, there's no grubby marks, there's nothing at all. Everything's superb. It smells nice inside as well. It just smells like a new truck. Um, I don't know, there's no nastiness anyway. I don't know if it smells new, but it, it's clean and uh, you can smell the leather. Um, there's a tint of air freshener as well, but there doesn't seem to be one in it. But other than that, it's again, it's in fantastic condition. So let's have a look at the media centre. 
um, obviously followed on from the uh, later Navara, like the 2019 ones, and there's no CD player anymore, so it's more digital. The reversing camera on these are phenomenal. Um, they must have upgraded the cameras because uh, following on from like the 2018, 2019 trucks, the cameras are so much better. It's more like high definition. Um, I've just reversed it down the yard and you can literally use a 360 to look around you. Um, I wasn't really a fan of the 360 and the older ones. Um, I do like that um, if you click on camera when it's in reverse, it gives you the left hand view. I really like that because obviously from my point of view, I can't see down there. Um, and obviously you've got your camera. Um, that's a, an old HGV thing. I've got my HGV license. So, um, but yeah, good things. You, you, go, you can't see down there, so you know you're not going to nick anyone over, like kids or anything like that. Um, you're not going to damage your wheels. Everything's obviously spot on that way. Um, the other thing as well, once you click camera, if you're going to drive again, it will give you the forward-facing view. So if you want to go and park against a wall or something, and again, offer you that little bit of extra level protection, it's a nice way of doing it. Right, so. Um, Let's have a look at the um, home screen. Really nice system. Um, obviously from here you've got uh, all your options from there. Um, so you've got your DAB. You can go... Oh, hang on. So, we'll, so click on map. Your map works really nicely. It works in the same way as your phone. It's so slick and it moves really well. You can zoom in and pinch out. And as you can see, it works really very well and very quickly. So they've obviously updated the chip in there and uh, made it work much better. I um, really like it. The older Navaras, again, they're really good, but not quite as quick as that. Um, so and obviously it's a system that you're used to if you've got a mobile phone, which most people have had now, I suppose. Um, so click on the home. Um, audio, DAB. So you've got, uh, as you can see, AM, FM, DAB, you've got USB, Bluetooth audio, auxiliary, and also Android Auto as well. Um, your settings on there, so you've got Wi-Fi, and all the other little bits and bobs on there, so connections are on there, so your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, USB, applications. So yeah, lots and lots of different options. Nice system to use, and it works really well, and very, very slick. Um, Heated seats in the front, high and low. I'll tell you what, let's give them a go. Down below, you've got your USB and your auxiliary. You can lock your vehicle from there internally. Uh, you've got hill descent and then also your switchable four-wheel drive. Um, your armrest, again, it's in fantastic condition. All the stitching's perfect. All everything is just, it's in great condition. It really is. Um, I wish I could afford it. Uh, seats work. That's nice and warm already. Um, so we've got dual zone climate control. So that's just, it's a bit cold today, but I'll do it for you, don't worry. So turn that up, air conditioning on, click on mode. Turn them on. Oh, I can tell you straight away, the air conditioning works. It's got that bite to it instantly. And also, you, I don't know if you heard it or not, but the engine uh, picked its revs up. So, you know, it, it's working properly. Switch that off. It's too cold for that today. Off. Right. So let's switch that off. Again, you know, like I said at the beginning, if you think I've missed something, or if you want to see something inside with a bit more detail, just ask me. I've got no issues at all. I'll show you absolutely anything that you need to. Um, your bonnet catch is there. So let's open that. Down here, you've got your petrol cap, stability control, uh, your illumination of your clocks, and your trip reset. So look in the back. Oh, I tell you what, we looked at keys. Uh, there are two keys. In the back. Driver's side rear door card. Again, very, very clean. Rear seats, very, very clean. Don't really look to me like they've ever been used. The bolsters feel like brand new. They're really stiff. And uh, all the materials, you can see, is in fantastic condition. Underneath here, you've got... You can tie that back if you want to, so you can tether it back so you don't have to have the seats up if you don't want to. And underneath here is all your toolkits and all your other bits. Over mats all round, and as you can see, they're in fantastic condition throughout. Um, yeah, really very, very nice. 
Let's have a quick look in the other side. And again, you can see that they've put the protective uh, film on there. So if the passenger sat there and not rubbing the knee on it, they're not going to damage the material. It just goes to show how they've looked after it. Again, you know, everything just looks really nice and clean. Stunning. So look under the bonnet. Let's remember it's got full Nissan service history. Um, I think it's had four services in total. Um, now for me, I'd rather see an engine like this. You know, it's not been cleaned. You can see also that um, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks around the turbo unit or around the engine. And actually, everything's really nice and clean. It's worth remembering it's got five years or 100,000 miles of manufacturer's warranty still in place. So it's a 2020, um, obviously it's on 80, whatever it is, thousand miles. Um, the mileage will come to first before the, the years. Um, you've got um, three years left on it, I think. Is it three years? Yeah, three years-ish. Um, or, or up to 100,000 miles. So it's obviously 16,000 miles away. Depends on how you're going to use it and, and for what purpose and how many miles you're going to do in it. But five years or 100,000 miles manufacturer's warranty left on it. And it's a wicked, wicked warranty. It'll even cover your batteries. So if your battery ever goes flat, ring your dealer up, let them know, and they will replace that for you free of charge. Um, so yeah, all the fluids are really nice and clean and to the correct levels. And everything looks nice and clean and spot on. By the way, if you want the engine bay cleaning, we can do it for you. But I prefer to see them like this because then you know there's nothing hidden. Right, so have a quick look underneath. Sorry about that. Right, so again, you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Underneath, chassis in great condition. No real shock, it's only a year old. Uh, rear diff, again, very clean. There's no signs of any misting of oil around it. There's no signs of any oil leaks. Sorry, hang on a minute. Oops. Try again, sorry about that. So yeah, you can see it's all really very clean. Spare wheel is steel and it's got a brand new tire on it by the look of it. I can't imagine it's been used. Okie dokie. So to summarize, it's in fantastic condition. And um, the paint's fantastic. One tiny little mark on it that I found. Um, I couldn't really see anything else. No nasty dents or marks, fullness and service history. If you like the look of it, get in there quick because it won't be here long. For the moment, though, thanks for watching, sticking with me. I appreciate it. For the moment, though, take care. Bye-bye. Look after yourself.